Babysit for Brian. Nicole, you just got a package from Peter, Wisconsin. You told me he wanted to send you something, so I was like, just send it to my house. This is crazy. It's actually really nice, but well, we don't know what it is yet. No, it's just nice. He sent I mean, it's good. thoughtful. I think my house is haunted. Uh oh. Brian, no. My wine keeps disappearing, and I'm the only one home. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Halloween. That's amazing. This gift has nothing to do with Halloween, but I thought the card was appropriate. Here's a little something for your breakfast and for your creative thoughts. Enjoy, Peter. Oh. <gasps> Every kind of black licorice. Oh my god. I am a huge like lover of black licorice, just like my wine. I'm very picky about it, but because Peter didn't bring my favorite licorice last time. These are for you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You're like <laughs> the okay. sweetest. No, thank you. He shipped out every type of brand of black licorice to me. That was just the cutest, sweetest thing ever. Like, I have to give it to Peter. He's really smooth. Oh sweet. my gosh. Okay, Bertie's chill. Bertie, what do you think? Was that really nice of him? Brownie points, Peter. I love things like this that are extremely thoughtful, that means a lot to me, so. It was sweet. He, it was. It was so maybe there will sweet. be a second date. Perfect. Ew. Don't. Why do you always have to grab? Just stare at me. Like, Ew, me. I don't want to stare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think of all this black licorice? Should yeah. Auntie Coco text Peter? Yes. All you have to do to get a second date is send you $12 worth of That's black licorice. That's actually like the <laughs> sweetest Brian, thing. it was so thoughtful. He's extraordinarily tall and good looking. I, and he I was almost attracted to him. <laughs> <laughs>